Hello folks, Harley Tuck here with MI Squared. I'm going to show you the steps required to, to initially set up OpenEMR to uh, be used with your, with your clinic. This first video is going to be the facility and practice settings. Then we'll get into a couple others, you know, setting up the users and things like that. So the administrator will log in to open EMR and then come on down to administration. Here we have administration on the left nav menu. Click on globals and I'm going to disappear the bottom pane so we can see what we're doing a little better. Again, all these tabs across here have all the different global settings that are used for the system. Most of these defaults are good or you can change them later on after you get used to how it looks and how uh, how you want it to look. Okay, but I'll just run through a few of them here and and show you the ones that you will need to you will want to be sure and look at, okay? Um, okay, the main top pane screen some people don't want the calendar to show up when when a when a user or a staff person first logs into open EMR. You can change that to the patient search and add screen if you like. Okay, This is a, the menu style which we mentioned before, the sliding menu, the tree view, etc. You can change those. This theme has got a lot of pretty colors uh, to apply to the whatever style you select. Now these are settings that each individual user can make for their own display. So remember I said in a previous video under miscellaneous preferences each user can set some of these settings for their own depending on what they want to do. This application title is going to be what displays on the login screen so you can change that to put the name of your clinic in there if you want. Um, check these other things. The new patient form has got some options on what on uh, what you want displayed. Uh, again, most of these are pretty pretty acceptable right off the bat. Under the locale tab, if your clinic is multilingual, is English American English, the default language. If not change it to any of the supported languages or shall you and shall you allow all languages this is another setting which a user can come in under preferences and, and set what language will be shown when they log in to them and with these you can select which languages you will allow okay but as we said select or allow all languages okay um, display, you know, measurement units, calendar, uh, formats, things like that down here. Double check on this, on this locale. Features, okay, if you're going to do inventory. If you're not going to do inventory, just select no inventory. Uh, if you are, uh, you can enable the inventory module set it up to do drugs or products. Um, select which ones it's going to be doing there. I wouldn't change most of the rest of these unless you know that you want them different. Uh, documents, no, calendar. Okay, calendar. Um, you can disable the calendar if you don't want to even see it, if you don't schedule appointments. Uh, this calendar starting hour is the first hour that's on the calendar. So if you're scheduling staff people to come in at meetings before clinic hours, uh, this is going to be the first time that's going to be schedulable for anybody. Okay, And the same as the ending hour, that's, that's when the last dog is hung, the last light is turned out, um, and that's what you'd set there. Now calendar interval, uh, actually 15 minute calendar blocks is a lot more common than 60 minute but you said uh, you said it to be what you want uh, da -da 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 -da. okay that's about the only things that you would need to set right off the bat 
these other things you will change when you activate different modules or do other maintenance tasks. And remember to click save. I would do that, but this thing is kind of slow, so we'll just sit here and watch a spinner go. Um, when you do it for real, click save. Okay, the other facility level settings that you'll want to do is the facilities. If you have a multi-facility practice, you will add each facility to each one, or to, to this list here under facilities. Um, your main clinic, put all the information in, you have to at least have a name. It would be wise to make the phone and fax in this format, include a zip code. If you're going to have the uh, nine-digit zip code, make, make it all one block of numbers. Otherwise, just you know, don't put punctuation in there. City, state, it would be prudent to put the state and country abbreviation in the standard two-letter format. Your main facility, remember to put primary business entity here. Select these other items, billing location or service location or accept assignment if it's true. If you want to have your facility show up in different colors on your calendar, click on there and a little pop-up shows what color the lettering is going to show up in. POS code, very important for billing purposes. Make sure it's the right one. Billing attention, put your billing manager in there. I've worked with a lot of claims, electronic claims that uh, get rejected if there's no billing attention person in there. Okay, set that up, hit save. I'm gonna hit cancel, but you hit save for real. On your subsequent facilities, you click Add. This will come up blank. You fill in everything. You notice there's only going to be one primary business entity here. Set everything up. Click Save. Set up all your facilities here. Okay, and the last facility... Well, no, actually not the last, really. You're going to want to enter the referral providers that you use so that they will be included in in a lot of things like the patient demographics uh, has drop downs to to uh, indicate who the referral provider is um, if you know in the module that makes out the referral forms that that list of referral providers is taken from this address book okay also the labs that you use the uh, anyway all the other the other outside agencies and providers that you interact with should be in your address book. Okay, practice settings. The pharmacies, these really are only to do with the open EMR pharmacy or medication um, module. If you're using, say, New Crop ERX, they do not look at the the pharmacies that you've got listed here so that will be a separate process which is covered in the new crop documentation but again if you want to uh, have your own list of pharmacies you would put them in here your insurance companies of course very important for for billing for electronic billing they take all the information from here so make sure your companies have got all the information that is required, uh, especially the CMS ID and payer type. And if you're going to be submitting electronic claims to this insurance company, be sure and specify the default X12 partner. Yeah, default X12 partner. Okay. When you get each insurance company set up, hit cancel or hit save. Insurance numbers, these are the providers' insurance numbers that they've got. X12 partners, every clearinghouse that you deal with has its own entry. You will get this information, the you know various field numbers, the ISA and, and uh, well, anyway, all the different login 
credentials from them to put in here. Make sure and set that up for each X12 partner that you've got. Documents. These will be covered elsewhere, or the, the use of this is to, um, to customize the default document categories. Okay, these are what OpenEMR comes with. They are very customizable. Um, again, see the documentation on how to customize this elsewhere. This HL7 viewer is not really useful. Copy and paste a HL7 file into it and it will it will break it down so that it shows it by line, you know, with the with the field name <coughs> excuse me at the left end, but it doesn't do any interpretation. It doesn't tell you what the field name means. But it, it could be useful. Okay, those are the practice and facility settings for setting up a new practice. And the next item or the next video will be about setting up user accounts.